Hi, it's Rayleigh here from Simple Aesthetic Trees and Quilting and today I am all rugged up in my brand new dressing gown that has been waiting quite some time to be finished. So I live in Canberra in Australia. It's very chilly at the moment and the lead up to winter this year just felt like it was going to be a bit colder than usual. So uh, I thought, right, that job that's on my to-do list really needs to get pushed to the top of the list and so here it is and uh, I have the heater on and during the day I'm actually really toasty warm in my dressing gown at the moment um, almost too warm so the secret to this dressing gown is that it was inspired by my motorcycle jacket so and my motorcycle jacket has three layers to it and so if it's wet you can put in the dry layer uh, and then there's also a padded layer that goes inside it for warmth as well so what I wanted was something that I could make really really warm I am a bit of a cold frog so I do really notice the cold and uh, I wanted to have something that so that if I was sitting and watching a movie of course I could put a quilt over me but I would also like something really snuggly on me so what I've done with this dressing gown is that there are actually two layers to it and uh, so what I'll, I'll take it off and show you what I mean undo the belt so each layer has a belt uh, so this outside layer is made from uh, polar fleece but I think it's that from memory now I will be honest here this project has been on my finish along to-do list for about three years now I totally get the irony in that and uh, but it just kept getting pushed to the bottom of the list but this winter I decided it had to be a priority and so it is done um, and it's very warm so the outer layer polar fleece I think it's the one that's called arctic fleece so it's just a little bit thicker than the normal polar fleece so um, I'm actually quite warm right now which is great I'm loving it so let me take this off I'll just move my microphone you have to put up with the microphone hanging today this is the inside I will show you the fabric up close the inside is made of flannelette so if I can get the sleeves off yes I'm fully dressed underneath it Whew. so oh there's the secret so polar fleece on the outside it is a pattern let me just get the pattern um, it's a new look pattern number 6816 uh, up here and uh, that one is um, so it has the dressing gown as well as like pajamas so that's what the pattern is from it's quite an easy sew I've had it cut out for two and a half years um, but getting just getting the time making the time to sew it together has been the challenge the inside is this gorgeous flannelette with foxes on it foxes and birds and some flowers um, I think they're the only animals um, and it's flannel now what I have done here so this is at the shoulder near the collar and this is at the shoulder so basically get rid of my hair here and here these are the two spots that I have put cam snaps. What are cam snaps? Cam snaps, mm, there's, that's a little packet of them. I'll hold it close. So they're little plastic snaps that you can clip together. They basically, I'm just throwing it at the camera now. They come in these two parts and you put them together. Oh, there you go. And you can use this tool here to put them into the fabric and then you clamp them together so that I won't actually do that on camera um, so that you can hold things quite easily they are quite strong 
they're not like I wouldn't you know put too much weight on them so at the moment I've just got these two on the shoulder I will wear this a couple of times and see if I need to put any more on but what I wanted to do uh, was have a dressing gown for summer so I'm just undoing the snaps and a dressing gown for winter and then have one for the dead of winter in Canberra where it's freezing cold so I'm going to pull the two apart pull the arms out and then you'll notice that I have just a singled layer arctic fleece dressing gown like so put that one over the frame and this one if I turn it in the right way pull the sleeves through then I have a summer weight flannelette dressing gown losing my get my hair out of the way turn my collar and this one also has a belt and so I have a bit of a brighter one well they're both pretty bright let's be honest uh, for summer so this is the flannel one that is summer weight I have the arctic fleece one that is for you know when it gets cooler and then I can snap them together for when it's really cold so I am going to be very warm this winter finally I have survived the last couple of winters without a dressing gown but I'm going to be good this winter so if you are interested I will share a few more um, photos of it but if you would like to join in the finish along I will put all the information below and uh, you can have a look at that on our blog as well and uh, I'll also link the blog post showing some detailed pictures of the dressing gowns um, and how I put them together so I hope you are warm this winter if you are in the uh, northern hemisphere you'll be uh, you'll be getting there later this year uh, we don't get snow in Canberra but it does get pretty chilly because we are still quite high up. Yeah, these are my dressing gowns and I will be warm this winter. Do you want to see me put this back together? All right, what we need to do is this one the summer weight one needs to go inside out and I have put the snaps so that they are I had the orange ones that was pretty cool so they're on the shoulders at the same point as they are on the thick outer one so that's inside out now We'll get the summer weight, the winter weight one, and you can see the bright orange snaps there. I did trim away the seam allowance a little bit for that one, and also here. So I'm going to lay that out with the inside facing up, and I need access to the sleeves. So pretty much, I'm going to feed my hands through the sleeves so obviously you're not going to do this every day this is just you know when it gets cold enough that you want both layers then you can put it together and pull that through so you can see in here is the summer weight sleeves lay that down and then at the point of the shoulder oh, I'm trying to show you there's the two snaps and they just clip together and then up on the shoulder where the collar meets they just clip together as well 
do the other side. I mainly had to clip away the seam allowance on this Arctic fleece one because it was too thick for the cam snap to go through. And then put that together. Now, one of the challenges I had with this project was how to make the collar work. What I was trying to do was have um, possibly just one layer rather than the two layers because there's the outside and this is the back of the dressing gown and this is the where you fold it over so you see the right side of the fabric as well which is not as noticeable on the arctic fleece but on the flannelette the wrong side is very much different to the right side so what i've essentially done is make two dressing gowns just uh, so there's actually four layers in the collar when the two of them are together and that was just the way it had to be so that I could you know make it work for how I wanted it all right I'm just going to give it a shake uh, so that we thought when I'm wearing this like this I will take out the belt so that it's not in the way and uh, possibly I will probably wear it a few times and just work out whether or not I need to put any snaps at the bottom of the sleeve or anywhere else, perhaps even on the collar piece along the front of the gown, just to hold it, hold it together in place somewhere there. Now you can see on, this is a nice dark orange, uh, so they do show up on the cam snaps do show up quite bright on that but I seriously don't care because it's going to be warm and it's a dressing gown and if you're in my house and I'm wearing my dressing gown then obviously I'm comfortable enough that I don't care whether there's bright orange snaps that you can see so there you have it all back together and you get the feature fabric shows up as a bit of a, a nice collar and I get the double layer of warmth.